Hello. So today we're going to try to compile a stock program that comes with OpenCV. Uh, this is called Flood Fill. Uh, it's a program um, simply to illustrate what OpenCV can do um, in terms of um, you know processing images and doing different stuff with it. Uh, I thought this was a good example because it uses different like parts of uh, OpenCV. Um, it uses high GUI to open up the image, uh, a few controls, then mouse events, and stuff like that. Um, so this is a program again that's in the samples folder on OpenCV so you could pretty much open it up, copy and paste it. And I didn't have to change anything here except the uh, the uh, include paths on the top. Um, so the IDE I'm using here is called Code Blocks, and it's a very user-friendly IDE. Um, I mean I find it it saves saves me a lot of time you know writing up um, like make files and stuff from scratch so um, I think I prefer using this to anything else out there um, so to start off the project you would go to file new then do a project and the different types of project that show up uh, make sure to start with the console application um, it doesn't load a lot of junk that goes into the other projects, so this would be a clean, cleanest bet if you want to like go from scratch. So do console application go, and um, you should be getting a wizard that walks you through the whole thing. I'm not going to do this right now because I ha already have the project created. Uh, the project I have is called Test Open CV, and um, the only program that's here is the flood fill demo that's copied over from the Open CV samples folder. Um, so th that's a program right there. Um, the only thing left to compile here is to set the build environment. So I'm going to go into build options on the right. Uh, choose debug. Then on the linker settings I'm going to add the four libraries that we have for uh, OpenCV. This was part of the install that we did uh, when you did make install um, and then it puts all these dynamic libraries into slash use a local lib which is your um, install path. Uh, all you need are, are these four libraries to link to and in your search directories you can add user local include uh, for the compiler uh, so that's where all the header files would be um, and again if it's you install to use a local path um, all of this should be there by default the other thing on the linker side um, we have user local lib um, so once all these three settings are done so on search directories set compiler uh, then set the linker path, then in linker settings add the four libraries that you need uh, right here. Uh, once you're done with it, uh, remember to do this thing over here, uh, copy selected to release, which copies over all the variables that you set on the debug target into the release target. Uh, once you've done that, click OK and you're pretty much set. So your program should be ready to compile now. Um, what we're going to do now is, uh, before I start compiling, I'm going to quickly open up the uh, file system to show you how what files I have there. Um, I have an image in the same folder as the program is running. Um, so if this would open up, test open CV. And test open CV. So this is the structure of this project that we're looking at so far. Um, so I have an image file against the sample image file from OpenCV sitting here. We have the, the program and these three are uh, metadata for code blocks um, to put all the build environments and stuff like that in. Um, so this is how this thing looks. So I have an image file and the CPP file and that's pretty much it. Alright, let me close this one. Um, we set up the build options. So I'm going to clean the environment to make sure there are no other artifacts sitting out there from a previous build. So let's do a clean. And uh, we see here that it's been cleaned. Now we can do a build. Control F9 or build. And we can see that it finished compiling uh, with no error messages, so which is good. Um, you can check this build messages um, to see if any errors you've encountered. Alright, so now um, all that's left is to run the program. And there we go, that's a program running. 
So all this windowing that we see here is from the high GUI uh, windowing interface that OpenCV provides by default. Uh, it makes things a lot easier when you want to display like camera streams or uh, display images and stuff. It's a very simple um, windowing uh, library. Uh, so what FloodFill does is um, it loads up this thing and it I tries to identify pixels which are similar to the other ones. Um, so as you can see here I'm clicking on the image and different sections are being highlighted differently. This might be a bad image to um, do this thing on. Alright, there we go. So, there was kind of a delay in this. It's probably due to this uh, screen record thing. Um, so I was clicking a lot quicker. Um, and as you can see, it's um, selected similar looking pixels and highlighted in different colors. That's pretty much what FloodFill does. Uh, there's also this option to, like, you know, just the um, tolerances for how this fill happens. Um, again, that's this is just a demo from OpenCV, and uh, there you go. There you have it.